This will be a short video. However, I'm going to give you five reasons why I like living in my tiny home or living in the tiny community called The Grove as part of the incredible tiny homes in Newport, Tennessee, coming up next. The number one reason is the community called The Grove. Now, if you recall, The Grove is smaller lots, 25 feet wide, 40 feet deep, and they're row houses, a concept of a row house. So needless to say, you're not going to have a lot of space between you and your next door neighbor, and you've got neighbors across the street. However, if you're a people's person and you like people, this is the right community, and I have met all kinds of new friends, male and female, and it's been a pleasure meeting everybody, and I think that's the number one reason why I live in the Grove, and that also can be a plus. If you're ever in a bind or have an issue, you can just walk five paces over, right or left, and knock on their door for help, or walk across the street, and you get to meet a lot of wonderful people. That is the number one reason why I like living in the Grove. Before I tell you what is number two on my list, this is my front door, this is my kitchen. What do you think of the new frying pan set up to hang the frying pans onto the wall? This is a magnetic shelves that I use for the pantry. Behind this is my refrigerator and microwave. Then you have the bathroom, which is a 36 inch shower, and then a toilet. Obviously you got the window unit. Then you've got the loft. This is my storage space inside my tiny home, which is an eight by 20. I do have another means of additional storage because you can tell it's pretty, pretty crowded. Number two is my flip up and flip down table. I already explained this in another video, but if you're watching this for the first time, for a $150 add-on, this has been tremendous. It gives me a place to eat, gives me a place to work on the internet and watch videos, and it is number two. Before I get into number three, I'm kind of doing a 360. So here's the end of the kitchen counter. You've got the opposite wall of the flip-up table, and I've got roughly 58 inches from this space to the end table to my bed, obviously, and what I plan to do is get a two-person sofa to fill this area up to watch a TV. At some point, I'll put that on that wall across. Haven't gotten there yet, I'm running out of money. Hopefully have it by spring of next year. So, number three are the incredible tiny home workers and employees that are working so hard for us each and every day with all our to-do lists and doing all of their work that they need to do for Randy and Amanda, but they do help us. So I'm going to give some special thanks to a number of employees that have actually helped me out. One would be Caden. He installed the flip up and flip down table, which is across the, the hall or on the other wall here, and he did the floating shelves. Shannon, who installed a outside storage shed above the tongue, which I'll show you some pictures of that. I need some additional storage. And he also hung the device for the frying pans to hang up. David for providing his personal wheelbarrow. Yes, he actually went to his house one morning, picked up the wheelbarrow, brought it back to me, and allowed me to use it for a day and a morning. And I did 20 loads of gravel and dirt and put outside where there's low areas and mud to, to get the driveway area um, higher up and so forth. James, who provided me one, maybe a lo half a load, I can't remember, of gravel on his front loader. That was very much welcomed. And then I want to give kudos to two other employees who've helped me from time to time, that being Justa, Justin and Daniel. So number three is the workers of incredible tiny homes that are working for all of us, especially in the Grove, with all of our to-do list. Before I get into reason number four, I do need to acknowledge 
one more employee at Incredible Tiny Homes, and that is Brian Waycaster. Now, I gave his last name only because he's already been on the Incredible Tiny Homes YouTube channel with a uh, special recognition to him already, but he is the manager of all the Incredible Boxes and getting those facilitated out to the owners. And he's been very helpful, so I need to acknowledge him. Number four, I'm on my bed, and if you remember, I've got a area of furniture storage underneath my bed by Gothic Furniture, which is in New York. This has been tremendous because what it's allowed me to do is to have most of my clothes, not all, but most of my clothes, in and under here and, and not living out of a suitcase. That is number four. Before I get in the last number five reason, how do you like my wall ornament here, which is an iron piece, a metal work, that actually I have, can take it off the wall, just like that, and I've come up with a design where you can get these magnets. These magnets can be purchased at uh, Harbor Freight. I think they've got one for 25 pounds, and they've got another one for larger pounds. Uh, but you can actually take it and place it directly on your wall. I've got a gentleman. His name is John Nicholson. He lives in Bowles Gap, Tennessee, which is outside of Morristown, Tennessee, that would be happy to build you one of any design, either on the inside or the outside of your incredible box. Before I get to number five, I want to thank everybody from the last video making suggestions or comments regarding my ladder to my loft. This is my loft. As you can see, I've got the bed already up there. I just need to work out the ladder. Now, I know I've got two choices. I can either do a ladder in this direction or I can do a ladder in this direction. I'd like to get it up to the wall here and have it on the wall fold it up in some direction so it's out of the way versus having a ladder here 100%. I haven't made a decision. I've got a lot of other things going on, but I hope to make the decision soon. And thanks for all your comments. All right, my last reason, number five, and there wasn't any order as far as importance, is living near or around the Great Smoky Mountains area. I'm anywhere from a 20 minute drive to a two hour drive and anything in between to get to some wonderful hikes, to get to some waterfalls, to get into some higher elevations, to get out of the heat and humidity of North Florida. So this is going to be my summer home and that's why I'm here in eastern Tennessee. That is the last Number five reason to be able to enjoy this area. Have you noticed the bass out of water continues to follow me along? I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you've enjoyed the reasons why I like the area. If you happen to live in the incredible tiny home community, whether it's the Grove or any of the other communities, if you want to comment what you like about your tiny home or the area or the community, feel free. Feel free to comment accordingly, and I'm always open to comments. Please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please, please consider subscribing. As a matter of fact, my next video is going to be at my second home in North Florida. I'm not excited to be there in the middle of August. It's the hottest part of the year, but i got to be there. Until then, have a blessed day.